assalamu alaikum this is a father again with a video and this time the video is all about the errors that affect the travelers and the errors that do not affect the travelers. this comes around in the o levels examination this comes around in the a levels examination if you haven't subscribed the channel do subscribe the channel and watch the full video in order to be confident how to solve the errors topic so let's start with this the first thing which is uh, which is given over here is errors we all do make errors in our life but how come the examiner is giving you this question maybe the examiner would be saying this thing in the question is that mr x or x or that company has hired a junior accountant and you might be thinking that why the company hired a junior accountant just this is a uh, this is a fake a fictitious business which is given in the question that junior accountant has made several errors okay he has made several errors and you being the accounting manager you being the a better person than that than that junior accountant you have to rectify those errors so first of all we will talk about the categories there are two types of categories one is errors that do not affect trial balance okay errors that do not affect trial balance and the second one is errors that do affect trial balance okay so i'll talk about first that do not affect that do affect trial balance so let's start with this first of all uh, for this the first error is error of commission okay so what is error of commission error of commission means that you have to debit the a person's account let's suppose you have made a sale to azam of dollar 100 but you have entered the sales rather than azam into azim's account as dollar 100 so in short if you write the same amount the correct amount into a wrong person's account that is termed as error of commission error of omission very easy when there is a double entry transaction and you completely omit that and that does not affect total balance the reason is that because you have completely omitted the debit side and the credit side and when you've omitted the debit and credit side so you will not feel that your trial balance is not balancing the reason is that because both the sides will not be affected in that case Let's suppose there was a transaction of sales dollar two hundred on cash. So you neither recorded the cash side in uh, you nor you recorded the sales side and neither you recorded the cash side. So in both cases you have omitted the entry. Third is saying error of complete reversal. As the word suggests, complete reversal it means that what what was supposed to be debited you you credited it and what was supposed to be credited you debited it let's suppose it is sales sorry not sales let's change it because again you people might be confused by referring to the sales example again and again let's suppose it was purchases 200 by cash okay so the correct entry is purchase debit and cash credit but this time you made cash debit 200 and purchase credit 200 so this is termed as the error of complete reversal where you have reversed the entry which is incorrect the fourth transaction is error of original entry okay uh, sorry the fourth error is error of original entry the error of original entry says that you have written down in the correct the account but the amount is wrong okay amount is wrong so you have not posted the right amount let's suppose the amount was dollar 320 but you have written down as uh, 32 maybe you are a junior accountant you can make any mistake so again you have made this mistake fifth one is error of principle error of principle ple this is ple principle not the, not the principle which is there in the college or the school uh, this is error of principle which means that you have recorded the capital expenditure as the revenue expenditure okay you have recorded the capital expenditure as the revenue expenditure what is capital expenditure what is revenue expenditure i'll explain that in this video capital expenditure means that any expense you have done on the purchase of a non credit asset one condition let's suppose you bought a machine for five thousand dollars this is a this is a capital expenditure another example of this could be you improved your non credit asset in such a way okay i'm repeating again you improve your non credit asset in such a way that it improves the chances of revenue generation that increases the chances of your revenue generation and that gave you a better revenue position so what happens two things non cut asset purchase and second is improved non cut asset revenue generation so these two things are very important so that is termed under the category of capital expenditure second is 
revenue expenditure if i talk about revenue expenditure these are recurring in nature that keeps on uh, keeps on going during the year and the revenue expenditure will talk you about electricity cost marketing cost and these type of cost will be under the category of revenue expenditure so remember this thing revenue expenditure means those expenses which keep on repeating in the business that's why they are called recurring expenses electricity marketing rent and rates heating lighting and these are all example of that and then there is one last category which is remaining in this error of omission uh, complete reversal error of original entry error of principal i am just forgetting the last one yes the last error is error of compensating compensating error where you made a mistake on the uh, debit side or either on the credit side but the error is compensated let's suppose if i give an example sales of dollar 100 was written down as dollar 10 okay and in this case uh, you compensate this this error by increasing the purchase maybe you wrote down purchase of dollar 10 as dollar 100 so this way the errors were compensated the error was were adjusted in the t accounts so these type of errors examiner do ask you this type of error in the in the question what happens in the question the examiner is expecting to label the errors he or she will ask you in the examination that which type of error this is maybe in the mcqs and in the paper to topic so be prepared for that remember these you can make an acronym by making uh, this of uh let's suppose p o c i guess and c q uh, and o is the square because there are two o's in this omission and original entry there are three c's compensating complete reversal and commission and there's one p which is principal so you could remember this with the acronym of poc p o c okay now moving forward uh there are errors which that do not that do affect the trial balance so let's talk about that the errors which say that you have overstated something the errors which say that you have understated something maybe you have understated the errors maybe you have overstated something so how do you rectify that temporarily the junior accountant what he has done he or she would have done like this he or she would have made a suspense account what is a suspense account it is a temporary account made to adjust the difference it is a temporary account to make to make to adjust the difference suspense accounts was made and i'll give you an example why it was made let's suppose i am making a trial balance over here trial balance and i hope you assume these details as, as at all the formats i'm just going in a quick way so that the video should not be longer for you people so it is debit side dollars it is credit side maybe on the debit side the amount was 7000 and on the credit side the amount was let's suppose 6500 okay so you had all the items sales purchases and everything okay now the 500 difference where did it go it went on to the suspense account with the name of 500 so you settled down the temporary difference in the suspense t account but now the examiner is ex expecting you to rectify those errors and once you rectify the errors what will happen your suspense account will count down to zero it will come down to zero Okay, so I hope you are getting this thing. So let's come down to the past paper question and see how it applies in the past papers. Okay, here I have opened a past paper, uh, which is May June two thousand eighteen, two hours past paper of all of us. And there is a question in this past paper. First question is books of primary, and this is highly likely to be expected in the examination. And the second question is errors and suspense. It comes less in the examination, but whenever it comes, the students do make mistakes. Sales on credit to Winster eight thirty had been recorded in the sales and as three eighty. Name each type of error. So whenever you are making a wrong amount, so it is original entry. Okay, wrong amount means you are doing it. The error is named as original entry. Discount allowed to Bloom Boom sixty had been credited in the discount allowed and in the debited in the Bloom's account. When you reverse the transactions, whatever was to be expect expected to be debited. was done as credited so whenever you reverse the sides it is termed as error of complete reversal okay error of complete reversal so i'll just write it down over here second error is complete reversal 
Third is computer expense had been recorded in the computer account. So computer account is capital expenditure. Whenever we purchase a non-credit asset, it is capital expenditure. Whereas computer expenses is revenue expenditure. So we have recorded revenue expenditure as capital expenditure. So it is error of principal. Okay, principal. The last one is saying purchase of goods still sent had been posted to the account of Filton. Whenever you record it in the wrong account, it is error of commission. Okay, I hope uh, you can understand my words because my writing is pathetic. So just excuse me for that. And I hope I have, I have explained well. If there is any question regarding this, you can just comment below and you can ask me again. Now the second question, why the trial balance totals agreed although there were four errors in the book. See, all those four errors did not affect the trial balance because in this question you can see the double entry was made wrong. Whenever the debits and credits are wrong, your trial balance would agree first thing. Second thing, when you do it on the wrong wrong right side of this T account, so you will you will uh, completely change the debit and credit. When you completely change both the sides, your trial balance will not be affected. Third, when you do it reverse, again in that case, your trial balance will not affect because whatever was debited, you credited it and in the end, you will get the right answer. And last one again, you debited another T account. Trial balance will not see that which account you debited and which account you did not credit. credit. Trial balance will only see that whether the debits and credits amounts are good. So the trial balance will not check the conceptual things and that's the reason that P part is saying they agreed because they did not change the trial balance, did not talk about the conceptual things. Okay, It talks about the amounts, not about the concepts. Let's talk about that. First time, the series on credit to Win Winchester 830 had been recorded the series as 380. So let's check out the difference. Uh, you have recorded uh, 380, 830 minus 380. So why we are taking the difference? Just to add the difference because it is less. The amount is less. So let's balance the amount by adding this amount over here. So in order to increase the sales, in order to increase the Winchester's account, I'll just post an entry over here. What is that? Sales is always credited. So I'll credit sales. 450 Winchester debit and sales credit. Sir, why you are increasing the amount? Because earlier I have added the amount less rather than 830. I have done four. I have done 380. So that was the wrong thing done by my side. That's why I need to rectify that. Second transaction is saying discount allowed to Bloom 60 had been credited in the discount allowed account and debited in the Bloom's account. So this is complete reversal. We need to reverse the entry. Whenever an entry has to be reversed in the error of of complete reversal the entry will be reversed by double amount okay in this error only the entry will be reversed by double amount why double amount because if we post it by single amount the amount will be cancelled out okay earlier we did credit 60 if we do debit 60 then there will be zero on in that particular t account so i hope you are getting this thing that we need to do it by the double amount okay Let's see the third transaction. What the third transaction says computer expense in mind had been recorded in the com computer account. So we need to debit computer account and credit computer expense account. So this will be the rectification of the error. And the last one is saying. Last one is saying goods purchase for 20 have been posted to the account of Filton. So Filton credit and purchases debit. Okay. Purchases debit by 420 and Filton credit by 420. This marks the end of the question. Uh, maybe you might feel it difficult in this situation. So what is the uh, easiest way? You just post the uh, wrong entry. Let's suppose right entry wrong entry and rectification you can make these columns in your uh, rough notebook let's suppose if i do for the first one right entry was sales debit by eight sorry sales credit by 830 and just just do it over here sales credit by 830 and winchester debit by 830 so this was the right entry but what did you made you made Winchester debit by 380 
and you made sales credit by 380. How would you rectify this? We will rectify this by Winchester debit 450 and sales credit 450. Okay. So I've done this first one for you. Uh, let's do the third one too. Third one is saying computer expense and I had been recorded the capital in the computer expense account. So let's do that. Right, wrong, rectification. Okay. Right entry was computer account debit by 900. Okay. And we don't know the credit side. So uh, for this, I cannot write the credit side. So I'm just skipping it just for your understanding part. Wrong entry, what did they do? They made it computer expense account by 900 debit. So in order to rectify this, what we'll do? We'll just make computer account debit 900 and computer expense credit 900. Whenever there is nothing credit side, so what we'll write, we'll write suspense account in that case. But in this question, there is no need to mention the suspense account because I told you those errors which affect the trial balance will only use the suspense T account in that. Okay. So I hope you got this question and you are able to solve this. Let's see the next part, which is saying complete the following table of correcting each error on the draft profit. You know that in the sales case, what happens? Your sales was understated. That means your sales was under added. So what will happen to the profit? It will increase by 450. Why 450? Because you recorded sales as 380. So you need to add 450. So your profit will increase by 450. Discount allowed. You have credited in the discount allowed item. So what will happen? Your profit will decrease by 120. Why 120? Sorry, not increased, decrease. Why 120? Because you added 16 the last time. When you credited it, it would have been added in your in your income statement. So you need to deduct that 60 and deduct 60 more just to give it the impact of just to give the impact of discount allowed, which is an expense. Computer expense 900 and we record in the computer account. So again, it will decrease by 900. Why? Because computer account was not catered as an expense, but computer expense will be catered as an expense. So that's why it will decrease your profit. And the last is saying purchase of goods from the Helen Post to the account of Filton. So when you record purchases again, your your profit will decrease. The reason is that because purchases increases the cost of goods sold. And when it increases the cost of goods sold, so it will decrease your gross profit and ultimately reducing your net profit in that case. So I hope you are able to do that. What you will do? 6800 plus 450 minus 120 minus 100 and 450. You'll get the answer in the last column for this. So we are able to solve the whole question for you people and these type of questions of errors can come in the examination. So remember this thing, do subscribe the channel, like, share, comment. And if you haven't subscribed my uh, channel, do subscribe it, like my Facebook page. I have initiated a charity or a donation group on Facebook with the name of Save Humanity. Okay. Save Humanity is a Facebook page, my charity page. I've created just to donate to those people who need our help. So do like that page and donate as much as you can my patreon link i'll be sharing it with you uh, in the description you can contribute as much as one dollars whatever seems feasible to you so that these things will go on to the charity part so thank you for watching allah is everyone